What's going on my fellow Jedi and Padawans? Welcome back to another Jedi gaming video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel. If you guys are new, welcome, welcome. Y'all have been blowing up the channel with these banger builds right here. Absolutely crazy lately. So we have another one here with a little throwback to Void 3.0 on our warlock using those nothing manacles to get some scatter grenade spam so for our subclass and our warlock right here we are going to be using our nova bomb cataclysmic so with that explosion a little extra dps and those nice void projectiles tracking on this to do with them beefier enemies and mini bosses champions bosses stuff like that we're going to be running our healing rift along with balance glide and pocket sync singularity for our abilities in the king what we're building this around is our scatter grenades that split into sub mutations and cover a large area with those void explosions super nice with the way we have this build built out and those nothing manacles gives us two of these bad boys so for our aspects, we're going to throw on Child of the Old Gods. So we have that healing rift. When we throw that down, we are going to have a void soul spawn, which when we deal damage to an enemy, it goes out and in a radius will do damage to enemies inside of that radius, causing weakening as well. So we also get a nice grenade and melee energy recharge when targets are being drained by that void soul. Next off, we have Feed the Void. So all of those void ability defeats is going to activate Devour, which is super nice because we're going to get health back on every single defeat that we get because of this Devour. And with all of those scatter grenades that we have, it's basically an infinite Devour build as well as a spam of those scatter grenades. Now for our fragments on this, we have Echo of Instability. So when we get defeat with those scatter grenades, we're gonna get volatile rounds on our weapons in our funnel web, as well as our Deathbringer exotic rocket. Next off right here, we have Echo of Undermining. So our grenades are going to weaken targets. That's gonna help again with some of those beefier enemies with orange yellow bars, and then also our champions if you're taking this into that realm. Next off, we have Echo of Exchange. So our melee final blows with our pocket singularity is going to give us grenade energy back, which is nice because we have some mods on our armor that also kind of do the same exact thing, allowing us to spam those scatter grenades even more. And finally, Echo of Expulsion. So our void ability kills with pocket singularity and scatter grenades are gonna cause that nice void explosion which is a nice way to just accent that grenade build, especially for this Void Warlock here. For our weapons, we have the Deliverance right here. Just got this bad boy able to craft, which I'm going for Enhanced Demolitionist and Enhanced Chill Clip on this bad boy. So when we get defeats, it gives us grenade energy via Demolitionist. Then we have our funnel web for that nice volatility and add clear this thing is king with subsistence and adrenaline junkie. So those scatter grenade defeats with adrenaline junkie is also going to give us a nice damage increase on this weapon because of that perk. Finally, for our exotic, we're going to go with the death bringer. So that nice projectile that looks like a mini Nova bomb just pairs super well with volatile rounds. And this thing does do some crazy damage as well. Now for our armor here, we have some just complementary things for our guns like fusion and rocket ammo finder. And then we have well of unity. So when we pick up void elemental wells, it grants us additional class ability, which we will just be able to throw down our wrist our healing rift like no one's business especially since we have 100 recovery as well now the exotic gauntlets that this build is a round is the nothing manacles so as i said we get that additional scatter grenade charge and it enables tracking for those mutations of the scatter grenade projectiles which is super nice for getting those enemies that are hiding behind cover or whatever it may be definitely super nice for an addition to those scatter grenades 
Now on top of that, we're gonna have elemental light. So when we get defeats with our Nova bomb, we're gonna create those void elemental wells, which give us our class ability back a little bit faster. And then we also right here have impact induction, two of them on, which is just like echo of exchange, that fragment, like I said. So when we do damage with our melee, we're gonna get grenade energy back faster, allowing us to spam those scatter grenades even more. Now on our chest piece here, we have fusion rifle, reserves so we can use our deliverance with demolitionist to get that grenade energy back as well as elemental ordnance so when we defeat enemies with that scatter grenade since we're gonna have just a spammable amount of them with that dual charge from nothing manacles as well as how we have it built out with it doing damage with our melee as well as you'll see in our class item when we cast our class ability but we're gonna be able to create a lot of of those void elemental wells via our scatter grenades because we have elemental ordnance on this as well as our boots here so we can stack those up very very easily because of our bond right here with bountiful wells allowing us to stack elemental well mods that cause us to spawn elemental wells so we will now produce more with those grenade defeats because we have elemental ordnance on both our chest piece and our legs which in turn once again because we have bomber on when we cast our rift down we once again get grenade cooldown so we have grenade cooldown when we cast our rift and when we do damage with our melee and because we're going to be causing so much damage and defeats with those scatter grenades elemental wells of void we're going to be popping out everywhere and because well of unity on our helmet picking up those void elemental wells grants us class ability so it's just a positive feedback loop allowing us to spam scatter grenades as well as spam our rift down which in turn once again allows us to spam scatter grenades which in turn lets us spam that rift so this build is so so much fun to play as you can see in the background super easy to clear out this lost sector where i just go through and show off all of these builds that volatility on our weapons is super super nice especially like i said for that funnel web with adrenaline junkie getting defeats with our scatter grenades allows that to stack up to times five immediately which gives us a nice damage boost on the weapon and that volatility in general causing that explosion just clearing out ads like it's no one's business and you can just see how many elemental wells we're getting to drop via that elemental ordinance mod that we have on our chest piece as well as our legs and just that double grenade spam that we have with nothing manacles and those scatter grenades. So this build right here is kind of crazy and built out very, very fun for my opinion. Love using this and it just, it's a nice little throwback and switch up from all the solar that we see right now. So I know this might have been covered back in the day inside of Void 3.0 when it was super hot but just was playing around with some bills and saw these arms inside of my vault and thought why not throw it back to the void 3.0 days since all we're seeing right now is solar builds which i do have about eight nine more solar builds coming out in the future here in the next days so don't get me wrong i'm on that bandwagon but this one is a super fun throwback for me take it into a lot a lot of just normal gambit and pve like battlegrounds and just strikes in general so thank you guys again for that support. I truly appreciate it. Y'all are nuts. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.